Samuel Adams, who was a member of the Massachusetts Assembly, and he was also the real leader of the Boston Town Meeting, and he had this idea of setting up a network of communication. So the Massachusetts Assembly creates a committee of correspondence, and what this committee would do is correspond with the other assemblies in the 13 other colonies, calling on those colonies to set up in their assembly a committee of correspondence to correspond with one another. There was no other network of communicating among the colonies. And he also, as the leader of the Boston Town Meeting, Boston creates a committee of correspondence to correspond with the other town meetings or towns in Massachusetts. So they do this both through the instrument of writing letters, uh, official letters now on behalf of a legislative body, but also then printing these letters in the newspapers. Much easier to communicate if you have a printing press ready to go and sending your word out that way. So the committees of correspondence that really are started beginning in 1771-72, by 1773 and 4, when the crisis begins, have already been established from Massachusetts and New Hampshire down to Georgia and throughout all of the towns of Massachusetts. And typically, the members of this committee of correspondence will be people who are on Samuel Adams's side as opposed to on Thomas Hutchinson's side. That is, they are the Whigs as opposed to the Loyalists or the Tories, as they would be called. So the committees of correspondence play a vital role in establishing this network of communication. And cementing these alliances between the colonies. And they correspond both through letters and through newspapers, which will print the views of the Committee of Correspondence of Boston or of Philadelphia or of Pennsylvania, and then circulate them throughout the other colonies.